The four basics, all right. So why don't we start with soft eyes? What's a soft eye? Well, if you've ever seen those, those pictures they have about uh, truck drivers and they get that white line syndrome, you know, the white line comes because they're staring, they're staring ahead like this and they're staring ahead like this. Well, if you stare ahead like this, not only does it tighten your eye muscles, that's the thing, but you can't see anything on the side. So you lose focus. So if you use soft eyes, relax your eye muscles, you suddenly realize that you have, oh my goodness, look at the range of vision. I can see my fingers move out here, which means I can see up there and I can see down there and I can see far ahead. So if I turn, I have the same vision that I had before. Now that's soft eyes. Breathing. Oh gosh, we all have to breathe, right? Otherwise we turn blue and fall down. So most people forget that most of us are chest breathers. We breathe from here up. So if you think about it, in yoga and in a lot of other exercises, they teach you to breathe from your lower extremities. So we think about it as filling your lungs from the bottom up. And it helps you expand your rib cage, it relaxes your muscles, and allows you to learn to breathe in rhythm. So in riding, every gait has a rhythm. So if you learn to breathe in the rhythm, you can actually control the rhythm of the horse with your breathing, which is a wonderful thing. And it's one of my favorite things when I teach people how to halt by going, halts. So then we have building blocks. Well, if I sit on a horse like this, I'm not straight. So if you can learn how to get your bo body so all your various parts stack on top of another, then you can learn where level is. You can have level shoulders, level hips. And then if your horse is crooked, you have a ch chance about feeling about how it is that you can make sure you're, you don't get crooked. Because most of us follow our horses. If we have a horse who's this, I get to watch a lot of riders ride like this. And I go, well, how about if you move your, you have problems, your horse is always falling to the inside. Did you notice that? Hands are over here and everything. So you learn to get the rider to sit straight, find their level seat bones, find their level shoulders, find their feet on the ground. And all the horse suddenly goes, oh, that's where you want me to be? Centering is probably the most important part. You have a center of gravity. In women it's one place, in men it's a little bit higher because they're constructed differently. But so we have a center of gravity and if you think about where your center of gravity is, all your motions when you're riding start there. They don't start up here, they don't start here, and they don't start down there. They start in the middle of your body. So if I wanted to turn my horse, I would turn my center by going like this. That makes the rest of my body move. And the horse goes, oh, hmm, feel change of seat bone weight, feel change in leg. I feel a lot of different changes. Oh, I guess I could turn. And it makes communication very easy, makes the use of your aids very easy, and it just makes life a lot easier.